when we look lung cancer, breast cancer, we see all the strides that they accomplished over the last 10 years. When it comes to brain tumor, the last FDA approved drug was almost 10 years ago. There is a huge feud and of unknowns the, in neuro-oncology. We're learning so much every day about how the brain behaves and all the genetic alterations when it comes to brain tumors. And so now it's a much fast um, evolving field. Over the last five years, there's a, a huge change in how we treat brain tumors. And now we know that um, genetic markers matter on how we treat this patient. So I think all the trials and new research is actually um, veering us toward a more individualized approach, actually looking at genetic uh, markers to actually individualize the treatment based on what the patient needs. And I think that's what the people did for other types of cancers in the body and they had amazing response. We were lagging a little bit behind, but I think now we're catching up. All the clinical trials uh, that we're using today is uh, um, leading us towards um, immunotherapy. Um, so most of the clinical trials we're opening are looking into uh, the use of immunotherapy, combining it with other agents or radiation to see if they, in, if we can improve how patients survive. We know that the brain tumor environment is severely immune suppressed. And for that reason, if we can actually enhance the immune system with, uh, by using immunotherapy agents, we can actually wake the immune system so we can attack the tumor properly. And that's actually what most of our trials are looking at right now. The future in neuro-oncology is precision medicine, which is combining the genetic markers that a patient have to individualize the approach. And I think that's how we're moving forward. So that's why most of the clinical trials that we perform here and even across the country, they're actually looking at genetic markers in combination with the treatment to see if we can uh, predict response by finding biomarkers that will, in the future we could use even before doing the treatment to predict whether that the patient would respond or not to that treatment.